Today we are going to liberate our creative minds. Free the mind. Free the mind. Our creative minds. Free the mind. I know from my own experience that making art can sometimes be very frustrating, hard, overwhelming, or just plain painful um, because our mind gets in the way and can really muck things up and make it painful. One thing I found that can help with that is to step back from whatever I'm working on and work out something very simple and easy that doesn't require much thought at all. So in today's episode, I'm introducing a series of exercises based on the core principles or basic principles of art. And the most simple of those is line and shape. For this project, we'll just need some sheets of paper and a pen. And then as an option towards the end of the project, we're going to be gluing things into a large format mixed media journal and using a watercolor background. Now these exercises are incredibly basic and the whole intention is to bypass the mind. So they're meant to be as simple as possible. So at first it may seem too ridiculously simple, but trust me and just experiment with the simplicity of the process, which allows the mind to calm down. The other intention here is to move into a nice state of creative flow. So these exercises are so simple that there's no resistance or minimal resistance, and you can practice just kind of going into a nice freeform state of flow. For the first exercise, we're just going to do horizontal lines. This is the most simplest mark you could possibly make on a piece of paper. And so we're limiting ourselves to this one simple thing, horizontal line, but allowing ourselves to make short, small ones, long ones, anywhere on the page. And the idea is just to fill up the entire page with horizontal lines. Here again, we're trying to move into a state of flow. So don't think, just intuitively, freely make marks in a horizontal line across the entire page. The next exercise is to do something very similar. We're going to do vertical lines and everything else is the same. Fill the entire page with only vertical lines of any size and just do this intuitively and with the intention of just moving into a state of freeform flow without any thought at all. Next exercise, we're gonna do diagonal lines. Now this one has a little more of a sense of variation because there's an infinite number of possible angles you can make. But the idea is again to fill the page up with angled diagonal lines. On the next sheet, we'll do curved lines. And this has, again, a lot more variation possibility. It's the idea of creating longer, shorter, with different types of curved shapes. They could be somewhat elliptical or wavy. The idea, again, just let your intuitive mind just flow and create curved lines across the page. And for the next one, we're going to go into shape. And this one, again, has a lot of possibilities from circles, squares, triangles to unusual shapes. So again, let yourself open yourself to imagination and just make all kinds of interesting random shapes. Now in this last sheet, we're going to do a combination of everything. So all the different types of lines and the shapes. And again, allow your mind to just intuitively, freely fill the page without really any thought at all, just allowing yourself to be completely free and calmly making shapes and lines of all types across the page. Now the exercise we just did should calm the mind and open yourself to creative flow, but as an extra step to kind of create more of a sense of a finished piece, we're going to turn some of this into a journal page. So here, choose one of your drawings and folding and tearing, let's cut it into equal size squares. The next step is to choose nine of those that you like and to compose them into a grid that has a pleasing composition.
So the idea here is we're going to glue these into a large format journal page. This is a mixed media journal. It has heavier paper that can handle watercolor. And first we're going to make a background. And to make it really simple, we'll just pick two colors that are the similar. In this case, I'm using a dark green and a light green. So I would pick two colors that are basically the same, but a little bit one darker than the other. And paint the entire surface in a slightly textured color. So this I'm using a lot of water and just going back and forth between the two colors and just spreading across the entire page. And then once I get the entire piece covered in color, I'm adding just a little bit more water and smoothing it out until it's all kind of blended in an even texture. I then use a hair dryer on kind of a medium setting to dry that surface. And then arrange the pieces on top of the journal page and go back in and one at a time add glue stick to the back to glue them down. Now to bring this to life, to pull it all together and give it more dimension, we're going to go back in and darken the lines and give them a thicker and thinner quality. And on some of the spaces we'll fill in with ink. And then wherever we feel like it, we can just add additional lines or little dots or shapes. Again, using your intuition and just letting it flow, avoiding overthinking anything, just intuitively darkening, thickening, and adding extra elements as they intuitively come to you. I'm also creating a thickened line around the outside and accentuating the torn edge to give it a little more visual interest. To avoid smudging, you can also put down a piece of paper where your hand's going to be in case the ink isn't quite dry on another area on the page when you're working on a different part. And here is the final page with all the pieces and the darkened lines filled in. Now if you found yourself tensing up or overthinking during the process, consider trying it again and really pushing the idea of just freely making marks without thought. Again, it's a practice. Our mind is used to overthinking, but with practice and withholding that intention of just easing up, loosening the grip on the pen, and just letting things flow, you'll be able to shift to that more flow state of mind instead of a thinking, overanalyzing state of mind.